Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about match total exposure. And I pulled a few images out from an, uh, excuse me, not an engagement, a bridal shoot that I did. And you can tell that the exposure on all of them is different. These ones are too bright, these ones are pretty close to being right, and then these ones down here are too dark. And if I go into the develop module, let me bring up the um, overlay, you'll be able to see that they were all shot at f1.8. And so I shoot an aperture priority mode, which means my aperture is not going to change, but my shutter speed is varying on all of these images, whereas the lighting in all of them is pretty much the same. We're in shade, we're in open shade, and um, I'm including more or less of the snow. And that's kind of where my camera is getting messed up is in this image where I've got more snow in it. It's uh, it's making the image darker, trying to get detail in that snow. And in this image where I've got mostly the dark trees, it's trying to bring out uh, detail in those. And so it's basically missing all of them. And so if I was to go to this very first image, and I was to just try to fix its exposure, so I'm not going to really fix anything else. And then if I go to sync, or let me select them all and go to sync, if I have exposure checked here and I sync everything across, you're going to see that it starts to get my exposure correct on the ones that match, but on the ones that don't match, it actually makes them worse. It makes them darker. So what's happening is I'm taking away a stop and a quarter of light. Lightroom is just trying to do that carte blanche on all of the images. It's basically saying, you've told me to take a stop and a quarter of light from every image that you have selected. And that's not the correct way to do this because taking a stop and a quarter doesn't fix anything. It only fixes the ones that match, but the ones that don't match, it actually makes them worse. So what we wanna do is we wanna go up here into the settings menu and you wanna go to match total exposures. And if I click on that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna take into account the f-stop and then it's gonna take into account your exposure setting and it's going to give you a reading of what the light should be like for each individual image. And so if I now click through these, you're going to see that they're all very, very close, that they're exposed pretty much correctly. But you'll see that my exposure now is correct on all of them. And so if you bracket or if you shoot in aperture priority mode or shutter priority mode or program mode, then match total exposures is going to be a setting that you find very useful and saves you a lot of time. 